Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. So we do have some light snow out there. Roads are a little bit slick. Just keep that in mind as you head out and about today. But otherwise, a lot of this lake effect snow has been tapering off. That still mean doesn't mean that roads might not still be snow covered. There are many roads that are snow covered out there. Um, but uh, so Otherwise, nothing major. We'll see some of this lake effect snow taper off here throughout the course of the morning. It's really just impacting our northern counties. So if you're along the Wisconsin state line, not too much of an impact for you folks out there. It'll be a little bit breezy as we head towards the afternoon and that uh, lingering lake effect starts to taper off. What we're looking at for speeds will be ranging around 15 to 20 miles per hour. It'll be breezy towards the east and near Lake Superior. And then as we head towards the second half of the day, towards the evening, we'll start to see more pockets of sun sunshine develop with more clouds clearing out. So we'll have some nicer conditions briefly as we head into Thursday before our next system. Temperatures today will still be below normal. Most areas in the mid 20s, some upper 20s possible towards the south, low to mid 20s across the west end. Lows tonight into the teens for most areas, but a few single numbers possible on the Wisconsin state line. Then we'll notice a warm up tomorrow with temperatures climbing well into the 30s. This is putting us back to our normal ranges for the most part, but this warm up really comes ahead of our next system that's going to be moving in. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, it's going to impact us from tomorrow evening through Saturday morning with some rounds of precipitation. Freezing rain initially with wet, heavy snow and some rain mixture for the first round that starts tomorrow evening into Friday morning. Some caveats with this. Uh, any shift with the track of the system could drastically alter who's going to see this wintry mixture and potential amount. So there's still time that the track of this system could change, but this is where we're standing at right now with what we're expecting with the model data that's more recent for us. So tomorrow, most of the day, good. This is tomorrow evening after eight o'clock. Some of the snow starts to move in. It's gonna be wet. We could have some freezing rain along the Wisconsin state line uh, for tomorrow, late tomorrow night into Friday morning. Chances of a little bit of rain mixing in to parts of Menominee County. A lot of rain for areas downstate. This is Friday morning as one, the area of low pressure starts to lift out of the southwest at system one. System two is a cold front that's going to be moving through. Uh, so Friday morning, a mess, slushy outside. A brief break later on in the morning, and then we see an uptick with snow and mixture for a Friday afternoon. And then what we're looking at is another little lull for Friday evening. What will happen is a big round of heavy snow will start to move in for Friday night into Saturday morning. I think that's where we'll likely have our best chance for our accumulations that last round. Now, as far as ice accumulation, I think that's probably gonna be the most dangerous thing with us is that uh, we're potentially gonna have a around a quarter of an inch of ice accumulation possible for mainly areas across the south and along the Wisconsin state line. This mainly comes to us for our first round which is tomorrow evening into Friday morning. So Friday morning's commute will be slushy, maybe icy. Saturday morning will be snowy and windy.